Hey you guys, hey, what's Gucci? It's your boy SJK out the first black super saiyan to work Robin this planet. A video just came out. And um hmm. So basically, not a video, but this article came out. Today, May 3rd. The article is from film, blogging the real world. Uh we're gonna check this out because it is actually very uh conflicting. Avengers Endgame writers disagree with directors about how the film's timeline works. Avengers Endgame is clearly a huge movie, not only in terms of its financial success, but also its plot mechanics. And in turn, and it turns out those mechanics are so complex that even the people who worked on the movie can't seem to get on the same page about it. Why does Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely have worked with directors Anthony and Joe Russo on four Marvel Studios on four Marvel Studios movies thus far? including the two most recent Avengers films. And while the group is typically simpatico, Avengers Endgame is so complicated that it's drawing a line in the sand with each pair standing on opposed sides. Keep reading to find out what they disagree about, but warning, these are major spoilers ahead. I think there pretty much is already a spoiler in the title. <laughs> spoilers. Avengers Endgame time travel disagreement. Once you introduce time travel into a movie, it opens up a whole host of questions. And sometimes the answers are more complicated than they appear. Case in point, Marcus and, Marcus and McFeely disagree with the Russo brothers about how the time, first film's time travel works. Specifically, about what happens with Chris Evans' old Captain America at the end of the movie. In a conversation with Fandango, the interviewer asked the screenwriters if the film's ending means that old Captain America was just hanging out while another Captain America was saving day. And here's how Marcus responded. That is our theory. We're not experts on this is Marcus Feely. The, saying this, that is our theory. We are not experts on time travel, but the Ancient One specifically states that when you take an Infinity Stone out of a timeline, it creates a new timeline. So Steve going back and just being there would not create a new timeline. So I reject that Steve is in an alternate reality theory. Okay, so Steve going back and just being there would not. When you take an Infinity Stone out of a timeline, it creates a new timeline. Oh! Bruh! <laughs> when you take an Infinity Stone, bruh, that was the biggest portion people forgot about. When you take an Infinity Stone out of the timeline, it creates a new timeline. That's, see, both these, the writers, this is why, bruh, when the Russo brothers explain it, they're not talking, they're not talking about it from the writer's standpoint. They're talking about it from their standpoint of what they believe it should be. Do we believe the writers or do we believe the directors? Who? Okay, this is how I look at the, this is how I look at the time travel in the movie, the way the, the movie explained it. Doctor Strange, uh, uh, the Ancient One, and Bruce Banner. You have two timelines here. This is our timeline, the MCU timeline. This is our timeline. We have 2012, where Avengers 1 started to now Endgame. Now, let's say, for example, I want to travel back in time on my point of time. So, right here. I'm right here. I want to travel here. But from what we've seen in Avengers Endgame, they was doing this. We're here. Boom. There's another 2012 on this timeline. Let's go to this 2012 and get the stones from here. That's what it is basically like uh, Dragon Ball. That's basically what it is like Dragon Ball. When Future Trunks came to our timeline, that Future Trunks is not our Future Trunks, and he will never be the the Trunks that is in our timeline. Because if you look at Future Trunks, we in in our timeline, Cell was defeated earlier. No, 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 well, the androids were taken down by Cell earlier and everything was different. That, the timeline, the, 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 the change we created with Cell is not the same as Trunks. Because Trunks, when Trunks went back, he went back, defeated both the androids, and he defeated Cell on his own. But Goku and them are still dead in that timeline. Those timelines are not the same. They're two different timelines. Trunks came from one timeline to this one. That's how I look. So basically what it is like for Endgame. And this is where it got confusing. 
Because I'm over here like, yeah, they basically said they was traveling from different time timelines. They wasn't tra they wasn't traveling on this timeline. They was hopping to another timeline, taking those stones, but they got to put them back. They was just timeline hopping. Well, reality hopping. Fuck. I do believe that there is simply a period in world history from about 48 now where there are two Steve Rogers in any way. For a large chunk of that, one of them is frozen in ice. Agree. So it's, it's not like they'd be running into each other. The alternate reality theory he mentioned, that's the one the Russos buy into. During a recent Q&A, they explained that in their minds, there was also two Captain Americas in the same universe. But there's an important difference. For example, the old Cap at the end of the movie, he lived his married life in a different universe from the main one. He had to make another jump back to the main universe at the end to give the shield to Sam. Now, th there is a problem with that because... Captain America, when he was old, he didn't have the quantum navigator on his hand. And he needs the quantum navigator in order to pinpoint a time to travel to. To navigate through time. Old Cap didn't have that. He needs the quantum navigator if he wants to do that. So what did he use? Because if look, from that standpoint, that's a directing issue. They they didn't they forgot to put that device on his hand to show that he traveled, but he didn't. I don't agree with when the Russo said that because the movie doesn't give me from visually from the movie, it doesn't give me any reason to believe that the quantum that the quantum navigator on his hand is there visually if you go look at the movie the quantum navigator is not on old cap's hand so he can navigate through time because they needed that to navigate through time because what happened when ant-man was trying to travel through, through time with his van he was coming back out as a baby he came back out as an old man he came back out as a uh as a uh, as a regular man so i'm like What's going on? I don't know. Should I go with the writers? I, I, I like the writers' explanation better. The Russos, bruh. You think? So there's two pizza. This is why it's confusing. These directors, are, the directors and writers are confused, and they both got two different interpretations. Did they just make this movie, run into it? Oh my gosh, bruh. How did they direct this? How did they do this movie? And they're not even on the same point. They're not even on the same standpoint of what time travel should be. Of their version. But from what they did, it seemed more like Dragon Ball from what they did. You got one timeline here. This is our this is the MCU timeline. They hopped to another reality. They went to there, they went to that 2012 and took those stones. They sort of went to a parallel universe. Which would have made more sense. Should have called it parallel universes and stuff. Oh, let's go to this parallel universe. Because when the ancient one said, if you take an infinity stone out of our reality, it it creates a new branch reality, and that reality will not have a infinity stone. And we that you know, well their reality won't, but that branch reality will not have a infinity stone in its universe. And from what the ancient one was saying. You need infinity stones in your universe. Like, they have to be there. And this is my problem with Endgame. Thanos blew up six stones. So did, do those stones not matter to our timeline? Because what the freak is going on? Do those stones not matter to our timeline? Do they not? Because Thanos blew up six stones. And everything was fine. Besides, you know, Thanos killing half. Everybody was just emotionally damaged. But I'm like... The universe is still good, low key. You blew up a time stone, which, you know, and these are the stones that created the universe. You blew up the time stone, which you need to, you know, take care of time. You blow up the time stone, something's going to get messed up with it, with time for your universe. You mess with the space stone, which is linked to space, something's going to mess up with space. You mess up the reality stone, you're going to mess up something with reality. Russo brothers, come on. Wh wh which is it? Sh the question is, who do we believe? The writers or the directors? That's the problem.
who do we go with? Because the Russo brothers would make up any, would just make up anything. I never seen people explain their movies so much. You know, usually directors just be all like, uh, "You take it up for interpretation and move on." Freak, freak you. You think this? Yeah, you think this would be something they all hammered out during their story sessions, but perhaps this points to a flaw in the storytelling. Bruh, facts. <laughs> I sort of even tell the people these guys aren't even on the same points. They're just they got two the writers and the directors. Don't even have a solid agreement on what they want to do. If even the people who spent months make making a damn movie can't agree on how it works, how are the rest of us supposed to parse it? Right. Still, it's possible to, to deny that the end results of Cat's victory story arc is emotionally resonant, even if we all still don't quite understand the mechanics they got him there. Right, bruh. Ah. <sighs> Let's read the writers again. Let's see. Let's read what the writer said. Marcus, let's read it. That is our theory. We're not experts on time travel, but the ancient one specifically states that when you take a Infinity Stone out of a timeline, it creates a new timeline. So Steve going back and just being there would not create a new timeline. Yeah. Yeah, they. She, the ancient one did say that. When you take Infinity Stone out of a timeline, it creates a new timeline. Now, is that the case for everything? Because she said a infinity sign. I, I, I think I might go with the writers on this, bro. Because this is just some... See, bad storytelling, bro. Th they have no solid agreement. And the Rooster Brothers <laughs> running around telling people. Blah, 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 blah. And then the, these writers got something else going on. Like, blah, 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 blah. And they're both, they're both talking about the same thing. But they're sending two pieces of information. Like... They're they're all about the same subject, but the information regarding that subject is like you're giving us two different things of the of the same subject, and you're like talking about two different things. It's confusing, bro. Like I say, in Infinity in Endgame, you should never use time travel at all, bro. It is confusing. You should have just did it without time travel. Did it without time travel. Hey, what they could have done? They shouts out to J three. They could have just pulled a, a Dragon Ball Z. After you use the stones, boom. Now, well, don't shoot them off into space. Like, oh, psh, go find them again. I mean, Thanos gets rid of the stones. Like, he goes and just hides them somewhere. Or, I don't know, Thanos still holds on to the stones. This is what I would have liked to see. And this is why you go on a huge scale. You go big, bruh. You go big. After the 21 days of Thanos, you know, not doing the snap yet to destroy the stones. What you do is you let Thanos keep the stones because Thanos. But this, this if, if if this means Endgame would have played out a certain way, you have Thanos believe. Well, I still need to be here to keep the balance in check because at the end of the day, and he, Endgame Thanos said it. You can wipe half away, but if you leave those who 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 if you leave the if you leave things lingering around, if you leave those who remembered what you did around, they're going to resist what you did. So Thanos' goal in Endgame was to wipe the whole universe because he was wrong about his plan because his plan made no sense. You're going to wipe out half and you're just going to throw the stones away and you're not in, in, and you're not going to uh, continue to enforce this, in, enforce this rule that you made because just because you did it once, you will still have to enforce it because people are still going to keep having babies People are still going to be, doing, you know, people are still going to be reproducing. And I'm over like, bruh, you're not even enforcing your rules. And that's why Endgame Thanos said Infinity War Thanos was wrong. What he did was whack. It makes no sense. That's why in Endgame Thanos was like, Shh, I'm going to build it from the ground up and do and put it in my image of what I wanted to do. Then he got into the God mentality. Now, what I would have wanted to see was Infinity War Thanos like, Shh, I'm finna chill on my planet. I'm done. The deed is done. I'll go, you know, I'll go visit different planets. I'll figure out, I'll, I'll make sure I, I will, I will go in. And this is where you get into dictator Thanos. Thanos goes there and go like, I'm changing rules around here. If you, 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 and you start doing this, 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 and this, and start reproducing too many kids, I'm going to 
your planet. And he just goes to different planets and he lets them know. And then all those all those other aliens on those planets are like, man, freak Thanos, bro. And, uh, you know, Thanos is chilling on his farm. And he's just teleporting to different planets. And he gets back there chilling. And in this movie, you could have made it bigger. Now, I think what they should have done... Well, I'm not saying I'm a better director. I'm saying what I would have probably wanted to see. Thanos chilling on his planet. Thanos going from planet to planet, you know, enforcing the rules still. Keeping them in check. Letting people know you finna uh, limit how much children you have because, you know, overpopulation. And he's just like, you don't do this. I'm going to mess you up with this power stone and stuff. Uh, You know, this will do with the Avengers still. They come up in there. They're trying to come get the stones. And then it gets even bigger. You have aliens from different planets, scrolls, Kree, other people from different planets who lost their family. They're bringing warships and stuff to Thanos' planet. Hella people come in to battle up with Thanos. Everybody's getting there. The Avengers pull up. Everybody pull up. And then these armies have different ways of thinking. The Avengers there, they have different ways of thinking. They're all conf- they're all conflicting through ideas and ideals how to beat Thanos and doing stink attacks and stuff. And they're just like, let's say, well, it'd be, you know, I'm, look, I'm just saying, I would have wanted something different. But, you know, they're just on, they're just on the planet. They're on the planet for days getting ready to attack Thanos. And Thanos just initially, my job is done. You can come at me all you want. I could kill you right now, but I don't want, uh, I don't need to. You come at me, though, I'm going to kill you. And if they try to come at him, he just kills him. It's like, try again. You keep failing, I'm going to keep doing this. But I don't know. You know, I'm just saying. I'm just throwing, I'm just throwing, I'm just throwing in something there. I'm not trashing it. You know, I'm just saying, don't do time travel. Do something else besides time travel. Because if the directors and writers can't agree on it, why should I believe anything of what the Rooster Brothers are saying, bruh? This is complete BS at this point. I'm not, if the if, if if the directors and writers are not on the same page about what their time travel is, I don't believe you. I'm not going to believe what you're going to say. When the writers and directors can finalize an idea and agree, I'll run with it. I'll run with it. I will run with it. When the writers and directors can agree on that, can agree on something, cool. But like I say, you should have took out time travel in general. You should have took it out. But whatever. You guys, go search that peace, love, positive, and all that jazz. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Stay away from that chronic. Stay away from that crack. Stay away from that lean. Stay away from all that stuff. Go search that peace, love, positive, all the time. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Deuces.